Smith reports. Here at Brands Hatch, drivers are used to being pushed to the limits. Of course, that normally happens out here on the track. Today, though, they're facing a very different test, and it's all happening in there. Three guinea pigs have been kept awake for 24 hours to measure how their skill behind the wheel will be affected. A motor racing journalist, a call centre worker from Brighton, and a man who makes his living with his driving skill. Jason Plato is the British touring car champion. Yesterday he handled the simulator like he handles a racing car. This morning, after no sleep, he should have had L plates. My tiredness is affecting everything about my driving. Uh, I've got to work much harder in the car, I've got to concentrate much more, I've got to keep, really keep alert when normally you wouldn't have to do that. The three were, are all good, very good drivers. Now, through lack of sleep, they're not very good drivers at all. And even Jason, who's the, you know, a, a very good driver indeed, he's driving much well below his, his, his ability. Throughout the night, the driver's reactions and brain patterns have been monitored. 24 hours ago, Sue had no problem with this circuit. Now she admits she's struggling. I'm trying to concentrate too much because I know I'm tired. See, I'm over the speed limit already. Again. Tonight, John will die in his sleep. While it's already known that it's dangerous to drive tired, today's results will provide extra scientific backup to the campaign. Don't drive tired. It reflexes, you know, your sort of spatial awareness, all this kind of thing, all qualities that you, you um, use when you're driving, and they all take a bit of a pounding as you get more and more tired. The conclusion that driving while tired can be just as dangerous as driving while drunk. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Brands Hatch. Uh, now some of the other stories making...